Color is extremely subjective. Some people like colors warmer, others like them cooler. In these three examples, only one of them has spot-on accurate color. Which one do you think it is? Here's the correct answer. How do I know? Because I did a completely accurate custom white balance with a Gary Fong Perfect Color Dome. Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and you're looking at me at complete 100% accurate color balance and exposure. And the way we were able to do that is with the Perfect Color Dome. Now, the, this is an 18% gray uh, half dome version of a gray card. Now, we sell both of these. This is from our uh, color kit. The theory behind 18% gray is that this is actually half between co complete pure white and black. It's called 18% gray. It's a little bit confu confusing, but what it really is is it's 50% neutral gray, and neutral is very important. The reason why we want this to be neutral is because of this. This becomes the handle for which we measure the color around me. So it is, if this is reddish, if there's like a red color coming down onto this, then that means the entire scene is going to be red, or at least the area in front of my face is going to be red. And so the camera is going to correct out the color balance to make sure that this is neutral. Under auto white balance, the camera typically tries to make sense of everything, but as you can see here, I'm in a very green area and what that'll tend to do is it'll make it the opposite of green because the opposite of green is magenta. So it'll shift the color balance behind me too much. So this has been for years, cinematographers and photographers, Ansel Adams, we all relied on the gray card for perfect color and exposure. In fact, if you were to take a picture of just this on manual exposure, when you move the histogram straight to the middle, that would be a perfect exposure for this light. So there's a lot that you can do with the flat gray disc or the gray card. But look what happens when I slightly change the angle. You'll notice that maybe you can't see the color change, but you'll notice that the exposure changes simply by the angle, which is why I came up with this half dome, the perfect color dome. What happens with this is that you'll notice that it picks up the light from everywhere because the face is not flat, the face is round. So the face will pick up light from the green trees over maybe the blue sky behind me. And uh, it will average all of those so that we get the perfect color. So when we did this video, we started off by doing a custom white balance with the gray dome, which gives us the perfect color. There's another way to do it. We can also do this in Lightroom or Photoshop by simply taking a first picture with this and using the color picker in the levels tool to move this around until it becomes uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 on all the different colors. We'll teach you that in another tutorial. Or a simpler way would be, the most accurate way is to be taking a custom color white balance while you're at the spot. Why is perfect color important? Well, for example, if you're selling something like this on eBay, is it red, is it fuchsia, is it orange, what is it? You won't know because by the time you go and saturate it or do whatever or put it up on Instagram or whatever, it'll completely change the color. But when you put this in here and you measure the camera to say, I want this to be completely neutral gray, not brown, not blue, but neutral gray, that means that this will be neutral, which means it'll be the accurate color. So whether you're with Canon, Nikon, Pentax, Olympus, the Perfect Color Dome can aid you to perfect color by using the custom white balancing tools, which we have in our video platform on YouTube. Very inexpensive price. You can purchase it at your favorite camera retailer, in a store, online, or at garyfong.com. Thanks for watching.